the Archicad video series. The Archicad model is composed of highly parametric building components, which contain important information about the element's physical and non-physical properties. Being able to subtract data from the model allows you to make better design decisions. Archicad offers several ways to collect information about an element. These useful techniques will be introduced in this video. Any part of the model and you can instantly check its main parameters in the info box. Depending on the actual work environment setting, you can see different parameters. For example, with the default Archicad template, you can check the layer, the elevation or the thickness of a wall. Clicking on the info box and scrolling with the mouse allows you to display even more parameters. Naturally, these are just a part of the element's current settings. In order to see the complete list, you have to open the setting dialog and browse through the available parameters there. Most of the times, you need only basic information about an element. For efficient work, you want to access this data immediately, without any extra clicks or opening any additional dialogs. Archicad has a very comfortable solution for this purpose, the element information pop-up. When the arrow tool is active, just move the cursor over the edge or node of any element and the info tag pops up immediately. As an example, let's see a wall. The element info displays the most frequently used properties, such as the structure field, base elevation, thickness or layer name. You can even check if the element belongs to any groups or hotlink modules. In a real project, environment elements may overlap or touch each other. The intelligent info tag warns you if the currently used cursor point belongs to multiple elements. You can toggle between the displayable elements with the tab key. The actually used element is always highlighted for your convenience. Optionally, the info tag can be turned off or minimized in the options work environment, selection and element information dialog. If seen, it's really easy to check the element's editable parameters. However, in real projects, it's also necessary to review the object's physical dimensions. The fastest and most convenient way to do this is to use the element information palette. This loading palette can be activated from the window Palettes menu. Once it's turned on, you can move it to any preferred position and also resize it if needed. Using the element information palette is simple. Select any model part or group of elements and the most important physical properties are displayed instantly. There are six buttons on the upper part of the palette in the following order. ID, length, area values, height values, surface values, and volume values. You can click on these buttons to extend the content of the element info palette. Let's see what we know about this wall. In addition to the regular parameters, like thickness or height, we can even measure its surfaces on all different sides. Furthermore, the door window openings are also subtracted, allowing you to have a precise calculation of the wall finish surfaces. Multiple elements can also be displayed even if the selected model parts are of different kind. In this case, the listed elements will be shown in a consecutive order. In case you want to preserve this data, you can save it or print it from the pop-up palette located in the top right corner of the dialog. The most complete set of element data can be accessed via the listing functions of Arricad. The full functionality of these tools is described in other video clips. As a short example, let's see how we can make a wall list with the interactive schedule. Let's place some walls on the floor plan first. Open the wall list interactive schedule in the navigator. The default Archicad template contains several interactive schedule lists and you can create custom ones if needed. Let's open the wall list. By default, it shows basic parameters such as volume, thickness, perimeter and surfaces of different sides. Additional parameters can be added to the list in a simple way. Click on the Scheme Settings button and open the Fields tab page. On the left side of the dialog you can browse through the extensive list of general and wall specific parameters. To add them to the list, just drag and drop to the right side 
and then organize as you need. Whenever you need detailed information about a wall, just click on its interactive schedule item in the navigator and then the list will be generated instantly.